Ah, record. All right. There it is. This is Steve from Way to the Sun, and I'm going to show you how to play Silver Lines. So we're going to start right here on the second fret, and we're in drop C, so it's going to be basically just a, a power chord that we're barring. We're going to move from the second fret to the third fret to the fifth fret, and then put our pinky on the eighth. So. That next riff, starting here at the seventh fret, pulling off to the fifth and then open, and then eight five zero on the C string. volume knob back until the next part comes in. And when the next part hits, I'm going to come in on the second fret with this chord right here. It's going to be two, mute the next string, two, and then the next two strings open. Next part of that riff, you're going to play it five times. The timing takes a minute to get used to, but it's the same exact pattern, just slid up here. You're going to let those same open strings ring out on the bottom. This next chord in the next part, <clears throat> again, same pattern with your index and ring finger from the previous chords, but you're sliding it up to the 10th fret and the 12th fret with your ring finger. And you're going to play the same pattern in this fashion. So. So after playing through that riff once, you get back to that transition, which is so zero, two, three, five, zero, two, three. And then back to the intro riff. So one more time from that that other part that we just played. So moving into the next part, this time we're going to be playing this bar chord like in the intro riff, but we're going to add our ring finger onto the fourth fret of this third string from the top. Then we're going to add our pinky onto the fifth fret for the second time, and then go back to the, the open power chord here the last time. Notice that my strumming pattern is just a little off time. I'm being a little lazy and coming in just a little late and then recovering on the next note. So instead of, I'm really drawing out that lag in between the strums. So.
So that next note that you're going to play you're going to leave your pinky finger on <clears throat> from this, uh, this previous part in the riff and just slide your index finger up to the third fret. So once we get through this riff right before it dives back into uh, what I call the verse. So you're going to end that riff a little early. Pause. you can see is I'm coming out of this riff a little different from what I did before. On that last time, instead of playing this five times, I'm only playing it three times and then going to that transition riff. So... Notice that this time I play that part twice as long as the first time. And in the middle, instead of playing this again, I'm just playing the exact opposite in reverse. So. So just after that fourth time that that riff is played, when it would normally stop, uses this to go back into it for another four times and then goes back to this on the sixth time so after that we progress back into this higher riff again so it'll be twice and then we end that last chord by ringing out before it goes into the bridge. <laughs> so the pattern that I'm playing there for the bridge 
it's mostly palm muted until the end when it starts slowly coming off. It's going to be the same chord that you're normally playing during that part, but you're going to pick through it like this. That's how that pattern is played. What's going to happen is you're playing at the same tempo that you've been playing the whole song, and when it transitions into the next part of the bridge, the tempo is going to slow way down. So watch how this works. So. And we're going to change, even though we're going to keep the same root note structure, we're going to change the chord structure from that to... So in this case, this next chord, instead of having all these open notes and skipped notes, we're going to bar these first two, and then these next two with our ring and pinky. maintain that structure the rest of the song. So let me play through that part for you. So we're going to come out of this. at the very end there on that last root note chord in that riff after we change to this position there's a palm mute so and then on the very last time around we're going to use that to transition back into the intro riff so That's it.